Okay, hello YouTubers. I'm gonna try and extract gold from this pile of electronic scrap right here. Every piece in here has some visible gold on it. Some of them, quite a bit. So we'll see how this works. I've only seen it demonstrated on, uh, on the internet. I've never tried it yet myself. And I've got quite a pile of electronic scrap around the house that's uh, accumulated over the years. This is only a small part of it, so if this works, I'll do it again and again and again until I extract all the gold. So, um, it looks like getting the actual gold out of this stuff is pretty simple. I just need to dissolve away all the base metal that the gold is plated onto. And for that I need, just need a couple ordinary chemicals. I've got some muriatic acid and I got some hydrogen peroxide. And I got a container. Won't use this for anything else. This won't become my iced tea container in the future, I don't think. So we'll see how this works. Um, I'm going to put all this stuff in the container and I'm going to fill it up with the mixture of uh, muriatic acid and hydrogen peroxide so that everything is uh, submerged. And they say it takes about a week. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, everything is in the container and I filled it about halfway up to the top of the stuff with uh, muriatic acid and then topped it off with the, the bottle of hydrogen peroxide. And I'll tell you what, we got some serious, serious chemistry going on here. There's a lot of bubbling going on, so it's obviously it's dissolving the metal, liberating hydrogen gas, I'm assuming. Um, the liquid is also starting to take on an ever so slight green color, so I imagine it's dissolving some copper. So, the instructions I've seen online say, let this sit for a week. Agitate it every once in a while. Maybe every day or so. So, we'll give that a shot. Although, at the rate it's going, I don't know if it's going to take a week. But, we'll see. So, I'm going to put the lid on. Not too tight. That should let the uh, gas that's evolving escape. And um, I'll put it somewhere out of the way and just let it sit and we'll see what happens. I'll show it to you from time to time. Okay, it's been less than an hour, maybe about 45 minutes or so. And look how green the liquid's gotten. And it's bubbling still and it's actually quite warm. So there's a lot going on in there. Don't see any... Uh... Don't see any gold falling off yet, but well, I take it back. There's some floating on the surface right there. So hey, it's working. Look at that. It's a couple of little bits of gold floating right on the surface. Ah, good. You put the lid back on and let it continue cooking. So it's been not quite 24 hours, and uh, whoo, the liquid is really, really green. There's not much activity going on anymore. Um, I checked it uh, last night just before it got dark. And uh, it was still bubbling a little bit now and then. Um, I was starting to see some of the fingers on some of the, the sims and stuff start look like they're missing. And there's a lot of, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's a lot of little, a lot of little bits of gold floating around in there as I agitate this. Oops, I'm spilling it. That's probably not a good thing. So I was, uh, oh, look at that. Some of the uh, chips have actually been dissolved off of the uh, off of the sims. And you can see some of the fingers are missing there too. So every time I walk by it, I agitate it a little bit. Some people I know would probably tell you I'm really good at that agitating. So, like I said, the instructions said to keep it in here for a week. So I can see that there's still a lot of gold that hasn't been dissolved off yet. So I'll leave it there for a week. Let's see, I did it uh, yesterday, which was Thursday. So we'll leave it till next Thursday and see what it looks like. But I can tell it's working. There's a, there's a lot of gold floating around in there. There's a lot of gold missing off the fingers of the, of the Sims. Um, this, some of the chips have dissolved off of the of the sims 
I can see there's still a lot of gold in there that hasn't been touched yet though so I'll leave it sit for a while for another six days and we'll see see what happens all right here we go it's been a week actually it's been a little over a week uh, it was a week yesterday and uh, but I was busy yesterday so I didn't get around to doing anything with it um, I had the lid off earlier and I don't know if you can see it but it's still fuming a little bit so there's still some pretty strong acid in there so I need to need to give the usual disclaimer about needing to wear personal protective equipment. Uh, I'm personally, once I start messing with this stuff, I'm going to be wearing this leather apron over here. I'm going to have a face shield on and, of course, rubber gloves. I don't want to splash any of this stuff on my skin. Like I said, it's still a pretty strong acid. I don't want to get any of it in my eyes. I don't want to get it on my clothes or on my skin, anything like that. So, you know, use use personal protective equipment. Now, I will say, this has gotten really, really dark, pretty opaque, um, but I can see, if I swirl it around a little, I can see a lot of gold in there that's come loose, but I can also see that there's a lot of gold that hasn't come loose yet, so even though it's been more than a week. So I've, I've done a little more research, and I see that a lot of people use like an aquarium bubbler um, in here. And what that does is two different things. It keeps the uh, liquid agitated, and it adds oxygen to the uh, liquid. So, uh, the oxygen apparently is required for dissolving the base metals. And um, the aquarium bubbler adds more oxygen to the mixture. That you know, Once the uh, hydrogen peroxide gets depleted after a couple of days, it, it seems to help with the process. So we'll see how much gold has actually come loose and how much is still stuck on the stuff. I may run it through a second... Uh, a second round of this but with an aquarium bubbler I've got one on order on the way so anyway let me uh, let me gear up and uh, we'll see what happens my plan right now is I'm gonna put this colander in this bucket right here and I'm gonna dump the contents of the jug into there and I'm gonna use this spray bottle to just uh, wash off the bits and pieces. Anything with gold still on it's going to go back into there for a second treatment eventually. And uh, wash everything, all the gold, all the loose gold through into this bucket. And then uh, we'll filter it through coffee filters into there and see how much gold we actually captured. So that's, that's what's going to happen. Um, a lot of this isn't going to happen on video because I don't have my tripod out here to set up the, the phone on. So. I'll just stop periodically and show you progress, but that's what's going to happen. This is going to get dumped into there. I'm going to use the spray bottle to wash any uh, loose gold off of the stuff. Anything that still has gold on it is going to go back into here for a second treatment. And then all the liquid in the bucket is going to get filtered through coffee filters into that uh, beaker. So let me get started. Okay, I'm all geared up. My voice sounds even funnier than usual because I've got the face mask on. So. Let's see what we've got. That's interesting. All the chips dissolved off. So obviously the acid and high peroxide mixture did a really good job on dissolving the solder that held the chips on. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of gold that's been removed. There's a lot of it that's still there, but there's been a lot of it that's been removed too. So let me start uh, let me start looking at this stuff individually and seeing how much. Uh, That particular chip right there still got a lot of gold on it, but a lot of the pins are gold free. So, a lot of this stuff's going to get a second bath, it looks like, unless I can get the, uh, the gold off with the spray bottle. And I need to, need to get this stuff out of here, too. Alright, let me get to work on that. Okay, this is interesting. I, uh, first off, I cleaned this out. So anything that 
has gold still stuck on it in here is going to go back in there for a second treatment along with some more electronic scrap eventually. But um, I discovered that, yeah, some of this stuff still seems to have a lot of gold stuck to it. But if I just rub my finger along it, most of it comes off. Along with liberal application of the spray bottle, I got most of the gold off, but then, then it's all stuck on my fingers. So I have to sp spray my fingers with the spray bottle to get the gold into the colander here. So even though it looks like there's still a lot of gold attached to this stuff, it's just basically just sitting on there. It, it, it comes off real easy. So I'm going to work my way through all this stuff, spraying it and rubbing it with my fingers and see how much of the gold I can get off. Anything with gold still stuck on it is going to go back in here for a second treatment. Okay. A lot of these where it looked like the gold was still stuck on them pretty good, you know, all I did was rub them with my fingers and, and all the gold came right off. And now it's stuck to my fingers, but I can... I can wash it off my fingers with the spray bottle into the colander here real easy, so it just takes a little extra effort and this stuff's coming off. So it's better than I thought it was. Okay, I finished washing all this stuff. I suppose I can take off this mask now. No point in continuing to talk through it. Um, there's a few pieces that still had some uh, obviously visible gold on them. I threw them back in there for the next next processing run it looks to me like um, most of the gold was always on one side of them which leads me to believe that maybe that was the side that was down at the bottom and it was oxygen depleted down there so the reaction wasn't working very well so but most of it most of its gold free or at least appears to be I did notice that some of these uh, SIM cards have uh, like a conformal coating on them and there's some maybe some gold coated traces and gold plated through holes on them that are not touched because of the conformal coating I don't know maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll try incinerating these and then processing the ashes we'll see but I've got a quite a volume of liquid now I used the spray bottle to try and minimize the amount of liquid I was going to have to filter but it was pretty laborious getting all the gold off this stuff with just the spray bottle and every once in a while I'll see a little bit of gold like oh there's a bit right there that I missed I'll have to wash that one off again so uh, but now I've got uh, all this liquid I need to filter so I'll filter it uh, through that funnel into the beaker I'll use coffee filters I'll probably have to do a, a couple times because I got more liquid that's going to fit in that beaker. So I'll show you that. Okay, change of plans. Uh, I was going to filter all this uh, liquid through a funnel and a coffee filter, and that was just going to take forever because I got way too much liquid. So I've decanted most of the liquid off into these two beakers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the colander back in the bucket over here and I'm going to line the colander with a couple layers of uh, paper towel and I'm going to filter everything through that way. That should be a lot quicker and I'll catch all the solids. Speaking of solids, I need to clean them out of the bucket here and get them into these beakers. There's You start to see a lot of the gold down in there though. Thank goodness, there is a fair amount of gold. I wish my gold pans... When I'm panning on the rivers out west had that much gold in them on a regular occasion, that'd be nice. So there is a fair amount of gold here. I just need to uh, catch it now. So I'm going to wash these buckets out into, to wash this bucket out into this beaker over here. And I'm going to refilter everything through the colander back into the beaker and catch all the gold on paper towels. We'll see how that works. And now I'm all set up to filter through the colander. This should go a lot quicker. Oh yeah. It was absolutely murder trying to do this to the coffee filter. Look at all the gold in there. Wow. Okay, I'll get the spray bottle and wash the wash the stuff out of there into the filter. Get it all in there. So here it is, all filtered down, caught on the paper towels. 
That is a fair amount of gold. I don't know what it'll amount to in weight. Probably not much. But it's impressive looking anyway. So the next step is to dissolve all this in aqua regia and then uh, precipitate it as pure gold. Get rid of all this crap that's uh, hanging around with it. So that's a project for another day. Maybe I'll tack it on the end of this video or make it another video. Thanks for watching so far. Bye.